Hey guys, it's Shannon, Team Whitetail Stalker, and uh, we've come inside today. Welcome to the uh, bow shop, my basement. So anyway, uh, if you've been looking on the Flying Arrow Archery page lately, or the last few weeks or so, you've been seeing me shoot a lot of broadheads and a lot of different type of broadheads. And there's always a question comes up about bow tuning. So what we're going to do today is we're going to give you a quick rundown of bow tuning. I mean, this is going to be short, sweet, simple. Um, there's a lot more to this than what I'm going to show you today. Just keep that in mind. And there's a ton of different ways you can tune your bow. I'm just going to kind of show you where I start when I get a bow and how I make things happen. So, all right, now the rest is on. We're going to put the level here. The bow is level. We got our uh, rest arm is level now. So, what's next? Well, now we want to start checking for, uh, start looking for the center shot on the bow. Again, this is a, a, a marathon, not a sprint here. So, Take our time, let's get it done, get it done right. So we're going to need to put our arrow on here, knock an arrow. Now obviously I don't have a D-loop or a string or anything or a knock set to hold that on there. So what I want to do, again, we're going to go back to our levels. I want to, I want to be able to hold that arrow so I can try to get this thing level. But remember a while ago we talked about the burger butt and the burger hole. That arrow should cut that burger hole, that burger button, right down the center. If you can see that, I'm going to put the, again, our rest, we're not level here. We haven't done anything with that. We're just going to get this, this arrow as level as we can. You see that burger hole, burger button there? It's right underneath that arrow. See that hole? That arrow should ride right with that hole or pretty close to it. So uh, perfect world, we want it right dead center of that hole. So that's what we're going to shoot for. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So, I'm going to take a piece of thread here. Find a knife. A piece of uh, bow serving here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a loose knot right here above this arrow where it's pretty close. But yeah, I'm going to keep it where I can still move it. I don't want to be able to I don't want to tie it on there where I can't move it. So, now, with my bow being level, again, we use our levels here. I got a little bit out there, okay? With that bow being level, I'm going to take my other level here. I'll show you this. Look here. This clips right on the arrow. Again, these are like 12 bucks. So now we have this level on the arrow to tell us if it's level or not. So that looks pretty good. That arrow is level. The bubble's level coming off the bow. I'm going to do that. That'll be probably another video. We may put that clip in there, but I'm going to put a D-loop on. I'll show you all how to put a properly put a D-loop on. Okay. We've got a rest on. It's level. We've got the arrow level. We've got a D-loop tied. So we've got, a knock, we've got a knock point now. The arrow's in the middle of our burger button. So now we need to look left and right. Check that, make sure we've got that true center shot. So um, I've attached a tool on here. Uh, you don't have to have this tool, but it does make life a lot easier. Things are go faster. This is a October Mountain Products. It's a laser center shot tool. So what you basically do is you, it, it screws right onto your riser where your sights would go. And this thing pivots and it's threaded so you can move it in and out so you can adjust it. And you turn this laser on and then I'm going to put this laser and I'm going to adjust this where it hits dead center of my knock at the string. I'll show you that. You can see I turned that. There's my laser. It's right there. Right dead center of the knock. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this and that laser will follow right down the top of the shaft like this. And I'm going to get this. You guys can see this hopefully. Yeah. And we're going to run this laser right down the end of that shaft. It there it comes. Right there. So I know that the arrow left and right is good because it's at the same point. This doesn't change. We can lock that part down. The laser at the end of the end of the knock is the same distance from the riser as the tip of the arrow is from the riser just by using this laser tool. Now that speeds up things, makes life a lot easier. So uh, that tool is about a hundred bucks. But if you don't have a laser, let me show you how to do this. You can eyeball this. I'm going to give you an old school trick here. 
turn the laser off. We'll act like we don't have a laser. We'll keep our arrow in there. We'll take my bow vise. I'm just going to rotate this bow down about a 45 degree angle. This is how we used to do it in the 80s and the 90s because there wasn't no such thing as lasers back then. It helps out. So you see the limb bolt here and the limb bolt here. Basically what we want to do is we want those limb bolts to be in line with that arrow. I'm going to take a, an Allen wrench and put it in this top bolt here just so you'll be able to see it. And I'm going to zoom in on this and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. There's the wrench right there. If you can see that just to the right there is the wrench. There's the arrow. So the wrench is dead center with the arrow. Now, zoom out. You can see the bottom limb bolt here and the top limb bolt and the arrow are in a straight line because the limb bolts are the center of your bow. So you want that arrow to be center shot. You want it to come off the the bow at the center. So you got from here to here and the arrow should all be in line. That's just center shot. That's basic um, easy setup stuff right there. So now that we've got our bow left and right center shot and that was a quick tip there. A pro tip of the day right there for you. And now our bow is set up Left and right is good. Up and down is good. If you don't have these tools, you can just you can eyeball it. Again, this is the, the the beginning process of tuning a bow. It's not the only way to do it. There's other ways to do these things. Um, there's tools out there that make your life easier. If you can't afford the tools, that's okay. You just what you want to do is get your bow level, eye level, and look at it and see if that arrow looks level. If that arrow's tilted down or that arrow's tilted up, move your rest, move your knock point wherever you, where it needs to be, and go from there. But that arrow, one of the main points you want to remember, is that arrow should be in line with that burger button, the burger hole there where your threads hooks your rest on. And if you look down the bow, when you tilt that bow and you look down, you should see a straight line from your limb bolts to your arrow. You can do that just eyeballing it, looking at it, and that'll be a good way to start. So. If you don't have those tools, just, you know, the lasers and the uh, levels and that kind of thing, just use that center shot, just eyeball it, make sure it's, just make it look close. That's all you got to do. So, we'll look down that arrow shaft, as you can see, center of that rest, right there. So, all right. Okay, now that we've got everything lined up, eyeball, what's next? Well, the next thing I like to do is paper shoot it. So we're going to do that, show you that.